I'm Anantha Shaker, Executive Associate Dean for Research and a professor at Indiana University School of Medicine. And our grand challenge for Indiana University is the Precision Health Initiative. Precision Medicine is to really understand what the specifics of the diseases are based on its genetics, based on its other characteristics, and try to find the right treatment for the right patient at the right time. I think that this type of a grand challenge provides you both resources and interactions and the stimulus to really develop close collaborations and think beyond what you normally can envision as possible. To be able to understand precision health across an entire individual's life history, you need not just genetics, you need sociologists, you need psychologists, you need behavioral experts, you need developmental experts, as well as biologists. Well, you know, I think any time we can uh, put Indiana on the map in a favorable way is a benefit. And for Indiana University in particular to provide the leadership, to draw attention to good things that happen here, improvements that can be made not only for our own benefit but for others, uh, that's probably the, the biggest outcome. It'll obviously help directly the citizens of Indiana. We have three major deliverables for our Grand Challenge initiative that we think we can accomplish in the next five years. The first is to provide genomic-based medicine to all the patients that we treat within our system. The second is to develop new cell-based therapies for currently untreatable diseases, such as certain cancers, Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's disease. And the third area is to develop new therapeutic discoveries or drug discovery programs focused on genetic testing and other biomarker testing. I think a successful Grand Challenges program will deliver on its initiatives uh, to improve Indiana, whether in our case it's the health of the population of Indiana. Delivering that to the state is what the university can give back to the people of Indiana. It's not just going to be an academic exercise or a clinical exercise, but it's also going to bring businesses into this so that it becomes a sustainable, long-standing grand challenge that changes the face of medical care in Indiana. If we can truly prevent some of these dreadful chronic diseases or identify them in ways that we've not done before, that would be a miracle.